Yo, what is going on guys? My name is Brent and welcome to part 27 of my tutorial series on how to create the game Super Mario Brothers. So after 29 years of living, it finally happened to me. I finally deleted a file accidentally and emptied the trash bin and it, poof, all gone. So I made this video yesterday, um, but accidentally deleted it without, um, without backing it up for any reason. Um, so I am going to try a new teaching style for this video alone. So in this tutorial, instead of typing along with you, I am actually going to be explaining my code that I've already written. Now on the other side is that there's some extra code in there that is actually going to be talked about in uh, tutorial number 28 because I made that video yesterday as well. So the code is already merged with my main code line. Um, so I'm going to go over uh, what was included in the video that I deleted and then in in video 28 you can see all the additional updates so let me show you what is actually going to be done this tutorial there you go but Bef everything before uh, this game over screen uh, happens in this video so Mario gets hit he does this oops animation he jumps up in the air and he falls through the ground that is what we're going to be discussing in this video so if you're interested stick with me so before we get going, uh, my last video, I started off by thanking my patrons um, that have helped support me in creating cool content for you guys. And so I just wanted to give them a shout out again, um, a shout out to Scott, Jack, Oscar, Eric, Sean, and Dallas. Uh, you guys, thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. Uh, I really appreciate you guys helping me pursue my dream and doing this full time. And uh, with, the, with your help and hopefully the help of others in the future, I think that that could be a true possibility. So thanks again. So with all that said, let's go ahead and get started uh, with all the content from my deleted video. Oh, crap. So anyway, um, I, I started in the Mario class and I created a new state called the State of the Dead. And then um, I also created a new texture region called Mario Dead. And I created a new Boolean value, uh, Mario is Dead. And so let's go ahead and take a look at all those. So when we take a look at the little Mario sprite sheet, you can see that the little oops uh, Mario uh, texture is just to the right one space over from the jump animation. Um, so what I did in the Mario dead texture inside of our constructor in our Mario class is I just copied the Mario jump uh, texture region and I increased uh, the X axis by 16 pixels because I know each one of those textures is 16 pixels off it has a it starts at the Y axis of 0 uh, and it's a 16 by 16 uh, texture region so scrolling down a little bit inside of our get state method I've added a new if statement uh, that says if Mario is dead and we'll set that to true when Mario gets hit when he's little Mario uh, then return that Mario is in the state of the dead. Now don't forget to uh, change the grow animation to an elf if statement and then scrolling up to my get frame and if you remember right this is the method that returns the texture region that we're going to actually be drawing to the screen uh, I, where we're checking uh, the current state. Um, I've added a new case uh, that the case that Mario is dead it's very unfortunate. Um, region equals the Mario dead texture region and then don't forget to add a break after that. Now scrolling down to the hit method um, in the Mario class, this else statement is basically when Mario gets hit by an enemy and he's not big Mario and he dies. So let me explain to you each uh, one of these lines individually. So this first line here, if you remember correctly in our play screen, um, we start uh, the Mario music when the game starts. Now this way, this line says stop that music when Mario dies and instead uh, play the Mario die uh, sound effect. So those are the first two lines. Now this next line, uh, Mario is dead equals true, should be self-explanatory. We set the Boolean value of Mario is dead to true, which allows us to show the texture region and set Mario's current state to dead. So when Mario dies, we want him to fall through the ground, you know, jump up, go oops, and fall through the ground. So that means Mario shouldn't be able to collide with anything. So what I did was create a new uh, collision bit inside of our Mario Bros class that was zero, and that is stands for the nothing uh, bit. So what we wanted to do is attach a filter for the mask bits, and if you remember correctly, mask bits are what a fixture can collide with. Um, to every fixture on our Mario, we wanted to say 
the mask bits for that fixture was nothing. So no fixtures could collide with anything in our box 2D world. I did that here by creating a new filter, filter equals new filter, and then saying filter.maskbits equals Mario Bros. Nothing bits. So again, Mario, any uh, fixtures will collide with nothing. Now, how do I get all the fixtures for Mario? We did that by adding a for loop. We're saying for uh, every fixture in the box 2D body uh, dot get fixture list, we say fixture dot set filter data to the filter that we created above. So in the original Mario, when he got hit by an enemy, he would pop up in the air and then fall down to the, through the ground. So to uh, mimic this, I uh, said b2body.applyLinearImpulse. And what this does is it applies an impulse in a certain direction. Um, so we created a new vector2 quantity, and we said apply that impulse uh, none in the x-axis, but a 4 in the y-axis, a positive 4 upwards. Now, where do we apply that impulse to? So uh, we want to apply it directly to the center of uh, Mario's mass. So we say box 2D body dot get world center to represent that. And this final Boolean value is, does it want to wake Mario up if he's asleep? You know, the box 2D body. Um, it doesn't really matter in our case, but we're going to set it to true. So inside of our play screen, what we wanted to do is when Mario died, not allow any kind of user input. So Mario would just jump up in the air and if you were hitting the arrow keys or whatever, it, would, it would, uh, wouldn't move Mario around on the screen even though actually it was under the play screen. So we did that in the handle input here uh, method inside of our play screen. We said if uh, the player.current state does not equal the state of the dead, uh, then we can handle input, but if, if he's dead, don't handle any input. So sometimes when Mario got hit, uh, he would uh, kind of get pushed off to the side when he died. Uh, so it was he was going down through the ground, the camera would still follow him slightly. So we fixed that by saying only move the camera in relation to Mario if he's not dead. So if Mario dies, freeze the camera right where it is. And we did that inside the update method here by saying if state does not equal dead, then set the game position.x to the player's body's position. So testing it here, let's see what we want to look for. We want to see the transition to Mario to the oops uh, little texture region. We want to see him thrown up in the air a little bit. We want to see him fall through the ground, which signifies no collision. And we want to see uh, the camera not move or shake when all this is happening. So let's go ahead and get hit by a Goomba. There we did it. I think we satisfied all those uh, conditions. So two thumbs up. So that's pretty much it for this tutorial. I hope you guys learned something. If you're sitting there wondering about that game screen, like I said at the beginning of this video, that was related to the video that's coming up next. So you'll learn about that in the next video. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns about this video, go ahead and post them below. I'm pretty good about getting back to everybody. I'd appreciate your uh, feedback specifically on how you like this teaching style. Does anybody like it? You want me to keep going with it or not? Um, if you are uh, if you like the video, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button. I greatly appreciate it, but more importantly, please share it. Of course, trying to grow this channel and you guys have been an amazing help. Uh, if you're feeling generous, check out my Patreon page. Uh, get mentioned like I did earlier on in this video and the link is right over here. Um, I appreciate everybody watching and I'll catch you guys next time.